tips are like post-it notes. We can't imagine a world without them. But are they really good to use? The answer is simple, but requires a metaphor. When you wax your car, you do this so that the next time it rains, your car's delicate paint job is protected. The body makes ear wax for the same reason. Our ear canals are lined with wax to waterproof the canal, so that the next time it rains, i.e. we take a shower or go swimming in the ocean, the water doesn't get stuck in the canal. The water will become rancid and likely attract a host of nasty bacteria, causing an ear infection or worse. Sure, those little domed cotton sticks look like the perfect thing to clean water out of your ears. After a long shower or wax buildup that can be visible and unsightly. But Q-tips weren't engineered with the overall health of the body in mind. Wax is also naturally acidic, preventing bacteria from growing in your ears. It's naturally antibiotic. Many people also push in the Q-tip too far and cause damage to the very delicate eardrum that allows you to hear. If the wax, or water after showering, becomes too bothersome, you can simply towel off the outside of your ears or use ear candling. This allows the natural wax coating to remain in the ears. As for Q-tips, leave those for cleaning the interior of your car after a car wash. Thank <laughs> you.